Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Days Gone director or creative director John Garvin said something that is pretty much stupid in my opinion. I'll explain why. IGN here got it and they said the creative director said that if you love a game and want a sequel you should buy it. Here quotes at in full price and he actually said that and there is you know this podcast here with david jaff or jaff i don't know how to pronounce the name correctly around the two hours and 42 minutes mark if you wanna hear it you know i leave the link in the description below and yeah it's really hilarious and of course it didn't go unnoticed you see here we have like 11,100 likes and retweets and replies here even people like famous people like young Ye spoke about this you know to denounce what this director has said and he said here instead of throwing shade at people who made reasonable purchase decisions with their hard-earned money how about some gratitude for the people who did support to the game even those who bought the game on sale customers didn't reject a days gone sequel sony did and that's actually news to me i didn't know that sony is the one that rejected the days gone sequel and of course because you know this has become really very upsetting to a lot of people and you can see here even the number of likes and retweets is exponential the director tried to defend himself in a series of tweets here and you see here that he has a series of tweets trying, you know, to justify his opinion, the way that he said things. And he thinks that, you know, what he said wasn't exactly what should be understood, at least in his opinion. But again, that is really stupid to say. And here he said, this is what I said. But you said it, there is a quote. I mean, there is everything here. But anyway, he says, this is what I said. If a game doesn't make money, it's probably not going to get a sequel. That's a financial marketing and business fact. I can't believe this is shocking news to some of you. Well, let's speak about this financial and marketing thing. You know, you know, in Netflix, there are some series that haven't been really very successful, but for some reason, Netflix is trying to push them really hard because, you know, Alphabet++ plus 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 and inclusiveness and whatnot. So it's not just marketing, probably for you, but if your game was quote-unquote inclusive enough i think it would have you know been showered with a lot of stunning and brave tens out of tens but again that's just me i think the last of us part two speaks volumes about it and here he says that he has been at the studio i don't know for how many years so basically he's just trying to justify himself and you can read you know these series of tweets if you want to again links in the description down below and what young ye said is actually very true people work really hard to get a game and then they spend the money and you know games are a kind of luxury they are not something that is like a real life necessity to survive so yeah if people want to wait for you know a ps plus deal or even get it for free that's their choice they can do whatever they want and even ps plus is like paying like i don't know 60 dollars a year and now it ha it becomes 70 dollars if i'm not mistaken on the new so that's a lot of money for some people that's really a lot and not just in the west and there are other parts of the world you know that can't really make purchases of 60 dollar games i mean heck even 20 dollar games are a lot for them because there are a lot of places in the world where wages are very low so you're asking someone to get something like i don't know a quarter of their minimum wage so that they buy the game at full price that is unreasonable to ask and again there is another problem which is that pricing should be really reconsidered now the epic game store does that to some good extent and there are regions because you know there is south america there is africa there are other parts of the world gaming industry isn't just growing in north america western europe and some places in asia there are a lot of gamers around the world they really want to play a game, but they can't afford to buy games at full price. That is unreasonable to ask. And again, we have this, you know, Days Gone PC port. I think the timing John Garvin chose to say what he said was really bad. And like Young Ye said, John Garvin should be really humbled that people, you know, chose to spend money on his game and not in another game because this market is really very very competitive it's really hard to convince people to buy your game here he's speaking about personal experiences and speaking about piracy on the psp he said that it hurt him financially there is always this discussion about piracy 
and whether it hurts the developers and whatnot. Again, I'm not going to delve into that too much, but there are some games that have been pirated and still made a lot of good sales like the GTA games and even the Witcher games among others so yeah he's a little bit salty this thing got caught and he got you know called out on the stupid thing that he did and of course people aren't going to shut up about this they're just going you know to go tanking him again it's just here memes and whatnot someone here says full game full of bugs and glitches another person said maybe people would have bought it at full price if the game actually worked without bugs at launch what is the use of these sales and these winter sales and summer sales and whatnot if people should buy games at full price another person here said advertise it better and maybe make a better game next time Another person here said, except you don't know if you will love a game until you play it. So being hesitant with how much you spend on a certain game is a given. Yeah, that is spot on. That is another valid and solid argument in there. Someone here just said, why would pay full price for an epic game like Days Gone? I mean, I haven't played the game. I wouldn't call it bad or good. I'll wait for the PC version and again wait for sales before I consider buying it. And another person here said games like those people will buy for $70, not Days Gone 2. And here, this is God of War Ragnarok. Again, I'm really mixed about Ragnarok, but he has a point here. You know, those AAA games that are really well polished and well worked on, those are the games that deserve a full price. $70, that's his opinion. I wouldn't want to pay $70 on any game. That's a lot of money. Anyway, thank you for watching. What do you think about this? And do you think that people should really buy games at full price? Do you think that even all games deserve the full price that they ask for? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe for more. I will talk to you again soon. Have a good one.